Hey everybody, what's up? Michael Cull here with you again, creator of Street Level Guitar, and uh, the guy who's open to be your favorite guitar teacher on the internet. Um, today, I just kind of this is a this is a short little lesson here, and what this is going to be is just one little lick. Um, I guess we call this the Robert Johnson turnaround. Um, you hear a lot of people do this, and it's all because of Mr. Johnson's influence, of course. Um, but a lot of people hear it and they don't know where it comes from, and they don't know how easy it is to play. Um, so the lick here in question is. Right, that's the little musical DNA that we're working on, in this case in the key of G, the people's key. And all I'm doing, I'm holding four strings, open, open, three, three, to make the high end of a G chord, and then walking down, third fret F, second fret E, first fret E flat, to D, and then playing the D7 chord. This is the very end of a blues progression. And you'll hear people do it different ways, give it their own different rhythms. You also see people do it in non-open string keys, right? You don't have to just do it down here in G because you got that open note, right? Um, we can put it up, and we just do it in E. Right? It's wherever your little Chuck Berry bar is. That's the top of it. Right? You can do it with your fingers, you can do it with the pick. Um, just have some fun with it, right? It's just, uh, it's one of those signature guitar moves that you should probably know how to do, right? Right, so if you're playing the, uh, the basic blues, right? Alright, that's kind of where it goes, right at the end. So there you have it, the Robert Johnson turnaround. Um, please keep on rocking your guitars, turn the amps up loud. Visit michaelcull.com and facebook.com slash street level guitar for all the uh, all the latest cool stuff I'm doing, lessons, music, videos, uh, tons of fun stuff coming up. So anyway, have a great night, get your Robert Johnson on, and we will see you next time. Peace.